Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Armin, and in this video, I will explore to thermoviscous acoustics in Comsol Multiphysics. Please watch this video carefully until the end. This is vibrating particle and water example that you can see in application library. First, I will show you how to select the thermoviscous physics in Comsol Multiphysics. Then I will explain a little about the difference between thermoviscous and pressure acoustics. Okay, let's get started. In Select Physics window, I'm going to open Acoustics. Then I'm going to select Thermoviscous Acoustics. Solution is in Frequency Domain, so I will select Thermoviscous Frequency Domain. I'm going to hit on Study and select Frequency Domain. Finally, I'm going to hit on Done. When the sound frequency is high, the noise is strongly converted into heat and damped. So we cannot use pressure acoustic physics. As you see, there is temperature in the thermoviscous formulation, but the pressure acoustic physics is only a function of pressure. From here, I will to change unit to millimeter. I have multiple parameters for the inlet and geometry. You can download parameters from link in the description. I want to compare the analytical solution with Comsol solution. I will add the variable and type the analytical formula into it. This PDF file contains velocity potential and acoustic pressure that I inserted in a variable window. This is velocity potential, and this is acoustic pressure. It's time to create geometry. I need two circles, one for the source particle and another for water domain. I have to subtract the source from the water domain. Domain is water, so that I will specify water for material. I have to use PML to define infinite domain, so I create a layer on the surface. A perfectly matched layer is an artificial domain for modeling infinite or free field domains. I will select perfectly matched layer from definitions. Okay, it's time to adjust the thermoviscous physics options. Analytical formula is adiabatic, so that I will check the adiabatic box. Now we can compare them. Also, domain is water, so I'm going to change reference pressure to water. Source is vibrating in water. Therefore, I need velocity for inlet boundary condition according to this figure along the Z direction.
Before mesh generation, I have to specify frequency in the study. I enter F0 which I defined it in parameters. Now I can generate the mesh by clicking on build all. After all of these steps, I will click on compute. The solution has been completed, and we can see acoustic pressure, velocity and temperature variation in the water. I want to plot acoustic pressure along a line. So, I will create a 2D cut line and define pressure for it. Also, I need another cut line for acoustic velocity in Z direction. We can see acoustic pressure along this line. Also, velocity along this line. Boundary layer was created automatically around the source. We need 1D plot group and line graph to plot acoustic pressure. I'm using a line graph for thermoviscous pressure and another one for analytical formula. As you see, results are the same. I'm going to add another 1D plot group and adjust dataset to cut line 2. Now we can see velocity of cut line 2. The graph is not smooth. We can get better results by changing the mesh. I will change the number of mesh per wavelength from 6 to 12. Then, I'm going to increase the number of boundary layers.
It's time to compute again. As you see, the solution is smoother than before. I have to finer mesh because velocity is not smooth. Okay, I think answer is better now. In the next part, I will model this example by pressure acoustic physics and compare them. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.